माननीय रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह जी माननीय न्याय एवं विधि राज्य मंत्री श्री एस पी सिंह बघेल जी उत्तराखंड के माननीय मुख्यमंत्री श्री पुष्कर सिंह धामी जी उत्तराखंड के विधानसभा के माननीय अध्यक्ष श्रीमती रीतु खंडूरी जी भूतपूर्व मुख्यमंत्री श्री विजय बहुगुणा जी माननीय लोकसभा सांसद श्रीमती रीटा बहुगुणा जोशी जी भूतपूर्व न्यायमूर्ति उच्चतम न्यायालय श्री अशोक भूषण जी और मैं देख रहा हूँ फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश एंड उत्तर प्रदेश उत्तराखंड देर ऑल हियर एंड ऑल्सो इंक्लूडिंग माई कोलिग्स इन पार्लियामेंट बोथ इन राज्यसभा एज वेल एज लोकसभा ये पुस्तक के अनुवादक श्री अरुण महेश्वरी जी संसदगण सम्मानित अधिगण मित्रों बहनों और भाइयों स्वर्गीय हेमोती नंदन बहुगुणा जी का जीवन गाधा पर लिखी इस पुस्तक का लोकार्पण करने का सुयोग मिला है इस अवसर पर आप सभी से मैं अपना विचार साझू करने का मौका मिला है मुझे बहुत प्रसन्नता है आई फील हैप्पी दैट आई गॉट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रिलीज दिस बुक अबाउट मल्टी फेसेड पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ सी हेमावती नंदन बहुगुणा जी ये पुस्तक बहुगुणा जी के पुत्री प्रोफेसर रीटा बहुगुणा जोशी जी तथा डॉक्टर राम रमेश त्रिपाठी जी का सम्मिलित प्रयासों का सुफल है इस पुस्तक का हिंदी संस्करण हेमावती नंदन बहुगुणा भारतीय चेतना का संवाहक का लोकार्पण उन्नीस में, में ही किया चुका है मुझे हर्ष है कि इस अंग्रेजी संस्करण तथा हिंदी के संशोधित संस्करण में और भी सूचना सामग्री जोड़ी गई है इस पुस्तकों से पाठकों को हमारे समय के इस महान राष्ट्रवादी राजनेता के जीवन और जीवन दर्शन के बारे में महत्वपूर्ण जानकारी मिलेगी Abu Jagjan Ramji started Mum Congress for Democracy (CMD). I think uh, they came on the occasion, and I was young, and I was active in uh, politics. So, though I do not know much Hindi, I translated his speech <laughs> there in Hindi <laughs> because he spoke in both the languages. and it was very easy to follow and also understand and for your information i used to translate your atadi speeches also without not not reading much hindi because bachpan mein hum hindi virodh aandolan mein bhag liya dakshin mein dakshin mein ye tamil nadu ka thoda asar hamare upar bhi bada hai mera gaon simavarti ilaka hai बॉर्डरिंग तमिलनाडु लेटर मैंने रियलाइज किया भाई हिंदी के बिना आगे बढ़ना संभव नहीं है तो हिंदी समझ लिया मैंने मैं अभी भी कहता हूँ लोगों को भाई हिंदी सीखने के लिए प्रयास करो बट एट सेम टाइम आई नो सम पीपल दे ट्राई टू मेक इट अ बिग इश्यू बट नाउ इट इज ऑल्सो सम एफर्ट्स आर बीइंग मेड हियर एंड देयर सम अननेसेसरी कंट्रोवर्सीज आई पर्सनली फील वन मस्ट फर्स्ट स्टार्ट इज एजुकेशन इन मदर टंग अपने मातृभाषा में प्राथमिक शिक्षा होना चाहिए बाद में दूसरी बात क्योंकि अब शुरू में ही अंग्रेजी में करें तो उनको भाषा भी सीखना है और भावना भी सीखनाड सब्जेक्ट एज वेल एज लैंग्वेज हिंदी It is widely spoken. We should know that language also. And then, my advice there is: even I say this is Tamil Nadu, no opposition, no imposition. This is the position. Understand the position. No opposition, no imposition. We should not have unnecessary controversies now. And then, one can learn as many languages possible, including English, even 
Urdu, Arabic, and has been like, first learn mother tongue. That's my advice. Yeah. See, was, see, Hemoti Nandan Bhavanaji was a renowned freedom fighter, a multifaceted personality, a principled politician, and astute administrator who dedicated his entire life to the service of the nation. Born in a remote village in Uttarakhand, he rose from very humble beginning to create his own space on the political map of the country. If you go through his biography, at the first glance it appears that he was a rebel. Peter was telling now that he was always restive. Now one has to be restive. You cannot take rest while being in public life. You can have it only during arrest. Rest can be only during arrest. <laughs> we all have experienced it also during our emergency period at that time. Because country is huge. Problems are many. And you have to work hard to reach out to the people, understand their problems, resolve their problems. And also, the system has to be changed because we are under colonial rule. Then we got our freedom. So you have to rebel against the system and then bring reforms. Even now there is need for reforms. Our former Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi has given a three-line mantra. He said, reform, perform, and transform. Transformation of the nation. Because the world is fast changing. People's aspirations are going up. Opportunities are many. But problems also are many. Challenges are many. So one has to go for reformation. Reform in any, many ways. And then you see the Prime Minister also is rescue. You want to do something every day, something new to take care of the different sections of the people. So, being a rebel, Ramonthi Nandan Bhavunaji, really, he was representing the cause of the people. Nation came first to him. Everybody must think about the nation. Nation first, party next, and self last. It is unfortunate nowadays, which is a good time, but if you think about it, you can think about it, Party ke baare mein sochna, aur bhi toh dhrma mein bhaiti ke toh desh ke baare mein sochna. This is what is happening, which is very disturbing. One should think about the nation in whatever position you have. You must have that passion for the nation, so that the people's aspirations, expectations can be reached. He was deeply wedded to the concept of liberty that drew him into the freedom movement. He was engaged. All those details were given to us. His father was a Patwari. He wanted him to become an ICS officer. That was a fascination for many people those days. ICS officer. But Bhavanaji's love for his motherland came first. And as president of the Allahabad's prestigious students' union, he defied probity orders in 42, very engaged, and joined the movement. He was also arrested and later released because of his reasons. He was imprisoned in a Naini and Sultanpur jail in Uttar Pradesh. When the country attained freedom, the government of India offered land to him. He refused to take the land and said there are many people who deserve it. They should be given first. So he set an example at this very early age so that it can be given to a needy freedom fighter. That was his thinking. The history of our freedom struggle is replete with innumerable stories of sacrifice and selfless devotion to the motherland. But of me, but sadly, those heroes did not get the recognition and respect they deserved in our history books. After independence, of course, career rule, they gave importance to their own this thing suppressing and depriving us about the heroic acts and deeds of our people. But it's unfortunate even after independence also. We have not done justice to the life. The sacrifices made by many people, many people, some we call them as regional people, I call them as national leaders, 
एवरीबॉडी हैज मेड देयर कंट्रीब्यूशन इतनी आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव के संदर्भ में कम से कम देश में हर एक सरकार के अंदर का प्रदेश का केंद्र से प्रयास तो हो रहे और राजनेता इन महान भावों का जीवन के बारे में अध्ययन करके वो नया पीढ़ी के ध्यान में लाना बहुत आवश्यक है आई हर्ड सम ऑफ द न्यूज़पेपर्स दे आर ब्रिंगिंग आउट सीरियस अबाउट द सैक्रिफाइसेस एंड हीरोइक डीड्स मेड बाय सम ऑफ दिस ग्रेट स्टॉलवर्ड्स दैट इज द नीड ऑफ द आवर एवरी मीडिया हाउस शुड फॉलो दिस इट इज आवर ड्यूटी ऑन द ओकेशन ऑफ दिस आजादी का फ्रीडम एंड व्हाट आर आवर एक्सपेक्टेड व्हाट आर द सैक्रिफाइसेस व्हाट आर आवर एक्सपेक्टेशंस what are our achievements what are our shortcomings let us objectively analyze and then move forward that's the duty of everybody and to make the present generation know about the sacrifices made by those people and also sufferings undergone through by those great leaders the younger generation must be told this would inspire them to walk in footsteps of those great personalities and work for the nation building bhavnaji believed in gandhi philosophy and worked for the down trodden and the marginalized throughout his life a man of principles he had the courage to oppose emergency and he refused to compromise the dignity of his office for selfish gains he had his views and he conveyed it to us the bhavnaji sensitivity and caring nature could be native to during the childhood as a student he said that uh, he took up the cause of the poor children in school and tried to help them in various ways including arranging books for them he was a very bright student and always passed every class with distinction as a class 10 student in government inter college alabad he organized a day long students mock parliament where the problems and the challenges of india were discussed During those days, whenever he went home, he would collect boys and conduct cleanliness drives in the village. Those days itself, water was scarce, and women had to walk long distances. He would collect parts from homes, tie cloth on the mouth of each part, and along with other boys, fill the features for village women for. That shows the tendency and attitude of this young man. I am happy now that government is taking up many of these schemes concerning the common man and priority. Close to 11 crore tires have been constructed. The Swachh Bharat Mission. I was I had an opportunity of serving the government as a rural development minister and sometime urban development minister also. The Prime Minister said that you know. This this has brought a wonderful change in the country, and also this Rastriya Rajmarg, the Vistar Lokiya, Sri Manadu Gari Vajpayee, who knows the desh bhar mein the connectivity revolution in every sector, and particularly the road sector, he brought. I remember those days, General Kadhuji was the Minister for National Highways. and he did a wonderful work i had an occasion to follow him from chennai my border area up to bhuvaneswar laying foundation and also taking up other works and he was rightly chosen for the task and he did a wonderful job and dr bihar vajpayee ji is remembered your for connectivity even now this swarna chaturbhuj yojana and then pradhan mantri sadak yojana these are all historic initiatives he bhavnaji always used to think and work for weaker sections for scheduled caste scheduled tribe and the minorities as a chief minister he uttar pradesh at that time stood first in india in land distribution to st and sc community impressed by his contribution the acharya vinayabhav ji gave him the title of Mitti Nandan, that was the title given by Vinay Babaji. He famous, Bhagunaji famously said, "Quote: It is a time wealth is at the top, and sweat at the bottom. The message of Swaraj will not go far and wide. We have to rule, not just for the sake of ruling, but for bringing about transformative changes." This speaks of his conviction. 
So these are the ideas which were inspired by Acharya Vina Baba Ji and also the present government, Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Viswas, that which motives, motivates us to work for the upliftment of the poorest of the poor. Upliftment of the poorest of the poor. Antyodaya. That should be the priority for any government, that should be priority for all of us in public life. My dear friends, he had a vision for the nation and he took it as a mission. And walking in the footsteps of Acharya Narendra Dev, Sri Bhagunaji set a high benchmark in political life. And he resigned from Congress in 1980 and simultaneously resigned from Parliament also. Nowadays, people keep the position, they get to a party and go to the other party. That's not a healthy sign for democracy. And this, recently I said this anti-defection law has to be revisited and the new force has to be protected because retail uh, defection is banned but uh, wholesale defection is allowed. That is not an ideal situation. If you are leaving the party, leave the post. And he has shown the example at that time, Bhagavad and this is a shining example for our present parliamentarians also. I'm reading his biography. One come, comes across Bhagavanaji as a man who served the nation with deep commitment and who was bold, fearless and incorruptible. Above all, we see him as a leader who did not ever compromise when it comes to his self-respect. I compliment uh, Mr. Rita Bhagavanaji Vashiji and Dr. Ram Naresh Tripathi ji for coming up with this well-researched and insightful book on one of the foremost figures of Indian politics and freedom of struggle. This should be, I commend the people to read the book, analyze it, criticize it also, pass it on to others so that there is enough focus and light on the life achievements of a great people like uh, Yamavati Nandan Bhavunaji. Exemplary life was recorded in this biography. It will send an inspirational message to the youngsters if they read this book. So I suggest to the youngsters they should read the books of the national leaders and have an in-depth understanding of the way in which they serve the nation so that the present generation can get a proper direction. Friends, once again, I'm very happy to do this job of uh, releasing it. And I'm particularly happy to see you all here in this Sardar Vallabhai Patel Hall. Though we would have done it in a much bigger scale because of the COVID restriction, we could not do it. I'm thankful to all of you for responding to this invitation of Rita Ji and coming to this function. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Jai.